And we are back once again with my hero, Ultra Impact. Today we are here, continuing chapter 12. Yeah, I remember this arc. This one was half decent. The battle of Class A and B again. One night, I dreamed about the former wielders of One For All. The beginning of One For All and All For One. Wielders of All For One solved people's problems, found more partners, and brought order to the Age of Chaos. The Vestige, or the first wielder, told me this. We're long past the singularity point, and you are not alone. Let's see. That's five people that you can clearly see. I think that might be All Might to the left. And I don't know if there's two more people in the background. So is there like eight people? I struggled with this strange phenomenon, which even All Might didn't experience, as well as the uncontrollable quirk. I faced the next combat training, a team battle between Class A and B. There was also one unexpected participant. Yeah, Shiro, I'm pretty sure his name was. I can't remember exactly his name. The mind control guy. Shoto Aizawa. Why don't you say a few words? No. We're not friends, just because we fought before. Hi. I don't subscribe to that sort of sportsmanship. Damn. Okay. I'm already countless steps behind. I need to prove myself. One day, I will become a proper hero. Then I can use my powers to help citizens in need. All of you are the hurdles I must overcome. I'm not here in search of friends. God damn! Bro, what is this? Th this ain't competitive ladder, this is school! Thanks for having me. And like what, now Now he's kind of nice? Like, damn, I thought he would have been like Bakugo. It's like, none of you can stand in my way and I will make it to the top. Like, that's what I expect him to say more than, thank you for having me, all polite. He's taking intensity lessons from you, Roki. Be on guard. Wait, is Roki Toroki? That is that who he means? Because then I kind of see that. How he's so dead serious. Torodoki was like super serious like the first time when they first started having classes together. I like this guy. Shouldn't we be getting on with this, Vlad? Oi! Time for combat training. Two of five matches were five against four, with Shinzo joining one team. The first match began with Shinzo joining Class A team. Meet my roaring rage. Huh? Kirishima? To see you? He looks so much cooler in the anime, and I guess manga as well. Like, this picture does not make him look good. Does not flatter him at all. We knew you guys would send Koda to search for us. Also that you would likely be wary of... Shizo... Shizoka? Keys quirk? Damn, I can't say that. Shizogaki's quirk. Huh. But also, I hate this. The open monologue in front of his enemies. Using her as a decoy, I crawled through the shadows to find you. Like, Jesus, tell him your entire plan so you have nothing. If I were to let your team prepare, then you might be able to unleash a devastating shock attack. So we opted for the direct approach. I sniffed you out 
with my acute sense of smell. You can't use much electricity with your friends around, can you? I've trained my quirk and got a new move. Air prison. A solitary cell that won't allow any sound in it. Huh? Take them down. Uh, Shishada. Consider this our win already. That monster's gonna murder me! Wait, did you get brainwashed? Did Shinzo somehow talk with my voice? Persona Extra set of vocal cords. Persona cords. Or person cords. I said persona. Oh my god. Extra set of vocal cords. Persona chore cords. Extra set of vocal cords. Persona. Persona chords. I guess. I guess that's how you say it. I don't know. I, I'm lost on, on this. I also hate this. Like, how they want to name every single move they do, every single technique. Like, I forget what the name of his quirk is. Oh yeah, it's just mind control. But because he has a gadget, I'm guessing he decides to give his move... Like, I don't even know if I would call that a move. Because it's literally just the gadget doing the work. Well, let's see, let's see. Let's take these guys on. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hit him hard. Oh, I had auto on. Martial arts. Hey, I forgot. Got to check out that special move. Let's see, I just want to make sure. Okay. That's his special move. Doesn't allow us to hit him. I wish there was a way that you could not attack a person. Like, how do I say I don't want to attack? Hiroshima just doesn't want to die. Like, he is actually tough skin. Yeah, not gonna have your rock to protect you now. Okay, good. Attack her. That's all I need. Good, good. Alright. So... Oh, I guess we're versing against them in pairs of two. 
Ah, that, that's kind of interesting. I don't know, because isn't... Huh. I'm trying to think. Isn't there groups of three, usually? I forget exactly how many were in the anime. Like, I'm pretty sure that just in this particular battle, that was kind of unfair advantage, I would like to say. Yeah, I can't remember how many people were on each team. I think it was three a team, but I think in this particular uh, match, Team A had one more teammate. Damn, he took a lot of damage. Kirishima's getting serious. Or not Kirishima. Ah, man. Yeah, a lot of these Class A members, I completely forget their name. Hey, don't, don't beat the guys while they're down. He keeps shocking my guys! Okay. There we go. This should beat him. Yeah, dude. Just a little practice exercise. Just go boom. Explode in his face. Bum, 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 bum. Clash. Class A versus Class B. Two of seven. Shinzo's brainwashed by using his device. Persona. Pers persona chords. Communication broken. Class B was unable to work together. Class A took this opening and were able to secure the victory. However, Shinzo wanted to win this by his own power. What does that mean? The second match between Yayorozu's Class A led team, uh, Kendo level, Kendo led Class B team. Hey, Yayorozu. Hi. Yes? What, what is it, Kendo? Why aren't you in the pageant? I thought I'd see you there. For some reason, Mr. Aizawa failed to tell us. Also had band practice, so I wouldn't have had time to prepare for it. Hmm. After we were in the commercials during our intern days, I think some people have started to put us in the same category. Our fans have pushed us into a box. What, what, what is this? What is she saying? So it means that they get fans from doing commercials and other stuff? That now they're kind of mini celebrities? I'm guessing more or less online celebrities. Since they don't perform or anything. They're just kind of out in the public as heroes. But yeah, I'm guessing... It's like they have their fans, like their idols, into a box. It's like when people think idols, yeah, <laughs> in the same group are alike. At the school festival, the same people shouted Yayorozu and Kendo because they lumped y'all together. Oh. I idol... Idol Trotty? Idol trite? I, I don't know that. A troubling ritual. Your grades and quirk are both better than mine, Yayorozu. 
I want to be my own hero. Yeah, I, I don't know how useful big fists are. Like, I know in combat situations, that's pretty useful, but being able to make anything uh, by just knowing the compounds is pretty useful in itself. You can literally make anything you need from weapons to... I'm not entirely sure if she can make food, but she can make weapons, equipment, anything of that nature, which is all very useful. Which is why I'm dying to try my hand against you today. I accept it. Gladly. With all my heart. Hey, Tokoyami. If you think about it, we're basically the same type too. I hate this dude so much. His dialogue is so bad. Shihai. Yeah, I'm not gonna say his last name. Your quirk lets you merge with darkness and move freely within it. You and I share a destiny. Oh? And you have also start stared into the abyss? Long live the eternal darkness, friend. What? And so, the second match began. Class B learned from the first match and crafted a plan centered around Kendo. Uh... Quirial soon took control of Dark Shadow. However, Yayorozu and Tokoyami turned the tables. Dark Shadow. Black Fallen Angel. Dark Shadow is always floating. So he can hold on to me and he can carry me through the air. Hawks, I thank you. I will fly even higher. Oyama, your navel buffet. Tokoyami can cover the area. Yes. Dark Shadow, get under the cloak. I shall give light to these shadows. <laughs> these shadows, they're moving. I have no choice. There he is. Uh. Haga Cure. Like, Jesus, I hate, I hate when she says the last names. Why do they gotta say the last names? Like, why can't they just say Toru? I see him. Let's nab him. Hurry. Expect the unexpected. Oh, I don't know about that. Huh? Mushrooms? What the heck? So it's true. Kendo is better than you. Uh, also, I do hate this dialogue in particular. Because these extras are like wanting to talk about how their leader is better than one of the other kids. It's like, come on. You guys aren't even a part of this. There's no better. It's just like our brilliant class rep said. True. If we plan to see too much light, then plan A failed. So, we start with plan B. Cute little mushrooms for everybody. I think her quirk is so weird. How, how is this a heroic quirk? Like, I guess in the way that this battle kind of goes, it kind of shows how it can be heroic, but it's just kind of weird. If, if she was in a head-to-head -head battle, like, there's no way she would win. No. Not cool. You can see my body. They planned a two-pronged operation and anticipated how we'd respond to... to... Cur Curial. Hi. Calm down. Stay focused. We just need to regroup, okay? Whack. The Boom. Boom. Ah. Bam. Crash. I really like this dude. His powers are pretty cool. Why are these words coming out of the ground? I'm killing it today. 
the BAM effects were extra wa-bam and they went off. It's making my heart go ba dum ba dum. I have no idea where anyone is. Their attacks were leading toward a specific outcome. Yes. We cut off the brain. Now I just have to defeat you with brawn. The shield. She crumpled the Tugstein shield with one hit. Once we're playing field, victory is just a step away. I'm finished if she has time to think. Brute strength is the key. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's the right approach as well. Brute strength is the only key to this battle. Uh, I'm guessing the blue character is going to be the more likely. So, I guess let's just have this team. Okay, good. It's just him. Boom, boom, boom. Three prong attack. Uh, I guess let's go with that. Stun Ganado. Momo, we will take you on. Also, I think it's a worse design that she got a cape. Like, I mean. It showed how the cape is kind of useful, that she's able to hide stuff behind her back. Also, I feel like it's a little loud. That she's able to hide stuff behind the cape, but I think it's just the worst overall design that she got the cape. Like, come on. You had a perfectly good design. Oh yeah, I already saw that one already a couple times. Hmm. I guess. Let's do that. I saw that one. I don't think I've seen this one yet. Okay, good. I think she was gonna kill Momo there. I didn't need her to kill herself. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Haven't seen this Torodoki's move yet. Damn. It always be asking for download. Like, come on. When the game first, like is updated. It should automatically do it. Okay, let's see this move. Okay, not bad. Getting serious after getting completely wrecked. Bum, 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 bum. 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 Bum, Oh, the date has changed. Lovely.
Let's continue. Wait, who is it? Okay. It's both blue. Uh, trying to decide who to mix it up with. I guess Ida. Like, come on, how do the mushrooms hurt us like that? No way, those mushrooms hurt. Okay, now, I almost activated that. She turned Toga into a mushroom for a second. Okay, well, I might as well activate that. Eh, not bad. Not bad of a super attack. I guess that's the best I can do. Yeah, Reese's. Wait, did she miss? I'm guessing she missed. Damn, sucks, Kendo. You tried. But then try hard enough. Okay, let's go with no battle. Clash of Class A versus Class B, 3 of 7. Kendo's two-pronged, three-sided strategy was paying off. However, Yeyorozu shot a certain item to Tokoyami. Class A planned to use this item to claim victory. However, Clanzo's plan was already succeeded. Huh? What's happening here? Well, I knocked her out. It was not before she got me. Everything she created showed that she really was looking ahead. I don't feel like I won. So wait, she, she was actually able to beat her in the fight, but because... Like, Momo was kind of, like, well-prepared. She's like, eh, I won, but, man, she really outthought me. So, I don't really feel like I did win. Next, the third match. Toradoki and the battle has just begun. I, I could have sworn that they won. Like, I could have sworn Momo's team won. Really, did they not win? Because I could have sworn they... Like, took out... Like, they didn't even show the manga guy. Like, they just made his voice be heard, but nothing else. Damn, they really cut down that one a lot. 
that one was a pretty good match overall, even though I hated the darkness guy. Oi! Tetsu Tetsu. People always treat me like I'm some kind of hard-headed moron without a clue. But I got accepted into UA, just like you guys. It's not like I rush into things without thinking of the end game. What are you talking about? This unbalanced team we're stuck with. We don't have any scouts. That's gonna spell big trouble for us. Ooh. Then, what do we do? Huh, guys? <laughs> we'll have to level this place. Terrible idea. Oh, no cheap tricks needed. It's a fight to the death. Class A and Class B clashed into head-to-head -head battle, but Class A was divided by Hanoki's softening quirk. Toradoki struggled against Tetsu Tetsu, who was not affected by either ice or flames. You still don't get why I'm your opponent, do you? Your quirk has zero effect on me. Those flames you got on my burning burning red hot. He's glowing from the heat. Do your best hot, Tetsu. Oi. You've been training for something just like this. You ever spent time inside an oven? <laughs> half cold, half hot. You won't even put a scratch on me. I forged my steel into something even you can't dent. By demolishing my limits. Draw up all the heat from inside your body. And then take that beyond the limit. Is that throw up on the ground? He just kneeled over his throw up. Yeah, I think this is when they were training. And he was using his quirk. He overused his quirk and they threw up. That's what I'm pretty sure this was about. I know you can do this. You're just not trying. Yanzo! Only thing to do is now keep punching till you're KO'd. So. Know this. There's a power inside of you that goes beyond what anyone else can wield. Why am I remembering this now? Damn it. Grit your teeth and bear it. I kind of like that line from Tetsu Tetsu. No matter what, fire or ice. Get back. Whoa, that's hot. More. More. I can raise the temperature higher. Go further. Burn myself if I have to. In order to become the one who I want to be. So hot. That firepower is crazy. I get ya, Toradoki. I'm holding all this heat inside of me. Same as you are. It's gotta be hard on you too, right? I don't think that you'll be able to keep it up for long. In which case... The endurance contests are my specialty. I'ma go beyond. Give up before you have to show you what I can do. If you're not willing to risk everything during training, then you never will in a real fight either. Our powers and limits are there to be surpassed. It's time for you to shut up. Like, I kind of like this line, but I feel like they should be in agreement about this. But I'm guessing he's more in the mindset of, no, I'm going to win this. And you have absolutely no chance. I'm pretty far away, but I can still feel that. I gotta hurry and get back to our steely boy. Sorry, tentacool. I never looked at the octopuses at the aquarium. 
They are not cute. I'm used to people being scared of me. Then don't take it personal, okay? I'm trying to help us win. Bring it on. I've always found him to be a pretty cool character, but unfortunately, he's a side character. Uh, that's a lot of blue. It's a lot of blue. Yeah, unfortunate. Tetsu, Tetsu. Boom, 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 boom. Uh. Like when it's just a one on one enemy, they get absolutely demolished. Oh no, he has a barrier. What's the barrier even do? That didn't seem to even protect him. Also, I wish like characters like Kirishima and uh, Tetsu Tetsu were in like their metal forms. Oh my god, he's so close to taking out Momo. We gotta take him out now. Okay, good. He's taken out. I was worried. Hmm. It's the horn girl, and then it's a bunch of others. Alright. Let us see. Let us see. I guess let's go with Toga. Let's go with Toga. Dun, dun. Damn it. I didn't use Toga. Oh no, wait. He's one of two enemies, so thank goodness I didn't use. My special on him. Damn it, he plushed the ultra. I always thought this girl had a kind of cute design. Like, I don't know specifically what she's supposed to be. I think she's supposed to be a cow. But I'm not 100% sure. Let's just go with that. Okay. Ooh. Man, I hate when they take out my big characters and I have to use my backup characters. Because usually I'm not well prepared. Like, I'm still pretty far behind on having full teams of good characters. No! Stop aiming for her. Okay, good. She may have dodged Momo, but she didn't dodge her Doki. Damn it! Ah, uh, damn it! I gotta replay this mission later. No. Also, this mission has just a lot of green and blues. Boom, 
boom, boom. Yes, sir. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll hold a little bit. I was wondering if I should use my ability, my ultra. Okay, thank goodness he set me free. Yeah, guys, keep attacking her. That's who I need you to attack. Plus ultras. <laughs> Massive damage. No, don't die. Nijiri. Please. Okay, she was saved. Yeah, I can only imagine Deku's fight is gonna have like the most. Like, I think it's gonna be three out of seven. In the third match, Terodoki released heat that went beyond his limits. And both teams suffered from... Hinuki's twerk. Still remaining. Uh, Totsuneri brought her fallen ally to place Soji couldn't reach. And waited until the time limit. The third match ended in a draw, and in the fourth match, Kachan's team took the battlefield. Why can't you keep up? Also, I love this design for him. Like, I don't know. Having an actual shirt, the black long sleeve is just really cool to me. And plus the orange and black go really good together. I didn't really like his short sleeve shirt. I'm trying to listen for sounds while I run. You better not fall behind. He's expecting people to follow as usual. Hasn't changed much since the sports festival. From a certain point of view, he is cooperating, but he's being a little pushy though. Is this gonna work? Got you. Hey, ears. I have a name. They should be around here somewhere. Find them. What's taking so long? Hang on. It's a trap. Hi, and bye. Ugh. Bakugo, down here. Are you? Nice, that's checkmate. Glue squall. Ew, gross. Aw, oh, shoot. This backfired. We basically built a spider web. And they're gonna be trapped... And they're gonna trap us. Got him. I knew Setsuna's plan would defeat them. Too slow, villains. I threw off Jira's ability by forming a co a cafoni? 
of noises around her. And then Bondo covered the pipes with tape with and with glue. One touch and they're stuck for good. I'll at least protect my teammates. Ah! Bakugo. Okay, this, this is a weird frame that they use. Like, what is this? It looks like his entire body is, like, twisted. Like, his body is, like, staring at us, but his head is turned completely around, or at least sideways, while his arm is all the way to the left. Like, Jesus, someone broke his arm, broke his head and neck, and then just kind of threw it. I'll start with Jiro. Huh? Save people to win. Win to save people. I've gotten even stronger. Bang. Match to block the blast. Guess bugs have fast reflexes. Lizard Tails? I... I did not know what her quirk said. Seriously? Arigato. Thank you. <laughs> Shut it. They got it. They got away. It doesn't matter if this is just training. I made a decision. No one will question our victory because our match is gonna be flawless. 4 to 0 and no injuries. That's how somebody with actual strength competes. Damn, pretty tall warrior. Yeah, I guess... I guess it's only gonna be two story missions? Or two story chapter? I don't know what you want to call them. Cutscenes? For the... What's his name? Deku fight. Boom, 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 boom. Speed down, defense down, frozen. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I, I just wanted to see that ability, and honestly, that Momo's attack is kind of lame. Like, I I don't know, what was that my same Momo? Because I, I don't even know. I just know she shot the cannon. I wasn't even sure. Because I thought that was a completely different Momo. It could be the actual Awakened version. Of my Momo. And boom. Let's go with him. A level 100 awakened uh, Teradoki from World Hero Mission. Sounds like a pretty good. Stun Gunnado. First, we just gotta get rid of Jiro. Bam, 
bam, bam, bam. My man got stunned. Man, I still don't even know how we lost that other match. How we lost one member. Like in most of these, we're absolutely wrecking. But in just that one match, they were able to do some real decent damage. I'm guessing because they were focusing on... Uh, what's the name? Bakuo. That we just couldn't react fast enough. Couldn't heal him, couldn't do anything. Clash versus Class A versus B. Five of seven. Kachan saved the others when they were in trouble, and the others saved Kachan when he was in trouble. Class A won the fourth match easily, but trusting each other. Then I look forward to the fifth match, the last one. Still, unsure about the changes for one for all, I decided to keep a close eye on the Monoma in our battle. Meh. I had a lengthy conversation with Shinzo earlier about how those blessed with powers destroyed the society. You're frenemies with Bakugo, right? Then maybe you can explain. How can he smile like he doesn't have a thing to worry about when he let himself get abducted? Jesus. Really want to dig up trauma. And because he hasn't been able to take care of himself, the symbol of peace is gone. Ooh. Ah. Huh? What? I don't understand what's going on. I was fine until just now. Seriously, a brand new power. So not fair. Run! Shinzo, you're up. Shinzo, get out of here. It's too much. I can't hold back this power. Ah! Stop it. Stop it. How is this happening? It hurts. Why? After all my transfer one for all to me, I kept getting hurt because I didn't know how to use it. Stop it. No more. But with training, I was finally getting it under control. Stop! I don't want to make anyone else worry about me ever again. One for all. Get it together! Uraraka. Deku, please calm down. I can't stop it. His quirk's out of control. Shinzo, quick, your power. Use it to help Deku. Brainwash Midoriya? What should I say? Literally anything. Like, all he needs to do is just respond. You don't need to say anything in specific. Just say, are you okay? Or, I'm coming! And then he says, alright! And then that's basically it. You don't need anything. I lost you at the sports festival. But I got another chance. I was excited to show you how much I've improved. Fighting you again was something I looked forward to. I want to become an upstanding hero and use my quirk to help others. Midoriya! Midoriya. No. Stop playing around and fight me! <laughs> Ugh. Okay! Like, Jesus. Like, he didn't even need to be say anything. Like, Midoriya just said the most basic thing ever. Instead of saying, all right, I'll take you on.
Alright. A few more. Not too much longer. Okay, they're both blue. Yeah, it's actually so weird how we just keep going back and forth from this. We've had a few red characters. Aside from that, nothing else. Do you mind control her? I don't understand what just happened. Or, or did he tell us not to attack him? Is that what he did? Alright, those counters though. Ooh, Toga's close to death. If we can just take out Shinzo, then damage will stop coming as hard. Oh my god. He keeps doing this. I need healing. Stop attacking her! Okay, good. Nah, damn it. I thought I had the healing back. Man, healing takes so long to come back. Okay, good. Finally, it's back. And now they all attack her when she's healed up a bit. Like, damn. Let a girl rest. Ooh. All right, all right. Got that down. Uh, let's go with. I just want to make sure. Oh, yeah, it's three of them. Man, I wish this team had more AoE attacks. Would very much be helpful. Bam, 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 bam. How much damage have we taken? Not much. Increase power of ally by two, three turns. Raid one time, cool down seven. What'd she do? Did she protect herself with acid? Okay, come on, let's finish her without using our ultras. Damn it, come on. Damn it! <laughs> you suck! Damn, I wanted to take her out. Take him out without using my ability, but I guess not. Oh my god. Okay, I just... I thought all my ultras were gonna be wasted.
Take her out. We need this heal. Now he's getting serious. The bastards have been taking out my guys. My girls. No, Najirdi! Survive! Okay, good. Don't attack the jury. Okay, good. She dodged. He's dead. No way he survived this. And I am blessed. Yeah, understandable. I lost one there. A relatively tough battle. I should have taken a little bit more risk. Ah, uh, I was too conservative. Shinzo's brainwashing helped control one for all, but then the fifth wielder of one for all spoke to me in my mind. Black Whip's got got the might of one for all swirling within it. Which means it's much stronger than when it was mine. What's important is keeping tabs on your heart. Following this, I was able to control Black Whip. Claiming victory in the fifth match of the class A versus B battle. Ends with with the win of Class A. Like, come on, how, how did they skip that at the very end? Like, that's a very cool moment to show. But I guess, I guess they're gonna show this, them talking instead of the actual battle. I couldn't stand against him on my own. I'm still not strong enough. This test has also decided if I was ready to transfer, right? How did you know? Did you tell him? No, I figured it out on my own. Think about the timing and format. It seemed like a prime opportunity to evaluate my progress. Plus, I was the only one who fought twice. This isn't finished until we've gone over your critique. Rejoin your team. Uh, let's just start with Midoriya. What was going on with you? A sinister darkness manifested in you. you. You were raging out there. Was that your quirk? No. It may be a new move, but it was different from your normal super strength. I'm trying to figure out what it was myself. I was overflowing with power and couldn't hold it back. Yada. It was like something I trusted up until now suddenly bared its fangs at me. I was terrified. But thanks to Uraka and Shinzo stopping me, I realized that whatever it is, isn't something I should fear. If Shinzo hadn't made me calm down with his brainwashing, I don't know how things would have gone. Mm -hmm. What a thrill! <laughs> like Jesus, that they were in a life-threatening situation. Life-threatening accident. And she's like, what a thrill! Like, come on, girl. Read the room. When Midoriya went out of control, Uraka's swift response had me overflowing with pride. Putting your body on the line to help a friend is true devotion. <laughs> yes, so much passion. I can't stand it. Uraka, you jumped to him right away and saved the day. You never even hesitated. Bet you hugged him real hard, didn't ya? <laughs> True. I didn't think twice about button. Maybe that means I need to be calmer when fighting. Although, it's pretty much better than not doing anything and regretting it later, right? Hey, you. 
You're going up quite a bit, Uraka. Yeah. I didn't act out of this solely for Midoriya's sake. So I just did what Uraka told me to do. I saw Monoma and the others being attacked by the dark energy. Oh. I knew our team was going to lose unless somebody responded quickly. Hi. You see, I stopped him selfishly. I want to fight Midoriya and win. Everything else was just a coincidence, if I'm being honest. It was all I could do to take care of myself. Huh? No one asked for any more of that than from you, Shinzo. <laughs> okay, I I'm, I'm guessing it's like, yeah, yeah. All we wanted to know was, was why you did what you did on the battlefield. You don't need to explain all your personal reasons. Just why it was helpful in the battle. Oy. Everyone here has been training for months to become heroes. Who can save the people of this world. No one can master being a hero right away. Except maybe All Might. But he doesn't count. Before becoming a pro hero... You have to make sure you're taking care of yourself. Otherwise, you'll fail. If you don't have the power to stand your ground on your own, then you can't protect anyone. With that in mind, what you showed was enough to earn a passing grade. I still got a ways to go. Yeah. I'm experienced firsthand how amazing the hero course is. I'm not going to be satisfied by merely passing. I need to work harder. And aim higher. Hey, you. That's fine. Go at it with a plus ultra mentality. I still, I still dislike. That's what they like to say. Hi. Yes, sir. We still have much to analyze from these fights, but I'd say, in all probability, Shinzo would join the hero course in the second year. Just make sure you don't let him outshine you. Got it! Okay. And there's one more battle. I thought that would be the end. I have no idea what all this other stuff could mean. Uh. Okay, he's that. Okay, let's just wreck him. It's one against three. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Damn, he did a lot to Bakuil. The hell? And he missed with the mind control. Bum, 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 bum. Now he's getting serious. Massive damage, come on. We can do it. Well, at least he's frozen. And yeah, he's just beating Bakugo. Come on. Toradoki, take some attacks. No, Bakugo! Damn it! Ah, man. We were so close. He wouldn't attack Toradoki. Okay, wow. Well. I guess the only thing I can do is heal. Yeah, it's like I feel this game is so RNG sometimes. It's like you just need the enemies not to attack. Like you either need the enemies to spread out their attacks or attack one specific character to get some good luck. 
what? I actually need to download this tiny bit of game. Clash of Class A versus B. 7 of 7. And so the days passed. Winter break approached. And Kachan and Toradoki received their provisional license. Oh yeah, we, we did that uh, story event. When Kachan and I wondered where to do our work studies, Toradoki invited us to join him in the Endeavor Agency. We went to learn with the true struggle of Pro Hero when number one, Endeavor gave us each an assignment. Shoto, Bakugo, I'm giving you two uh, the same homework assignment today. Why am I always getting lumped in together with this idiot? I'm betting it's somehow connected to learning Flip Ash Fire, isn't it? Store up your power, condense it, then fire up. Being able to release your maximum output in one flash, or with focused precision. First, keep practicing until you can do it with one of those things without thinking about it. Oh, Kachan, like your armor piercing shot. What do you know about that, you bastard? Stay out of my business. Shoto, you're nearly there. I want you to improve your precision. You'll be able to control the shape of your ice to a certain extent already. Try doing the same with your fire. Deku, is it fair to say you can max out your power in an instant? Yes. And you're able to do it without thinking? Yes, um, well, with full cowling, Air, Air Force still requires concentration, though. Then keep practicing until Air Force is your second nature to you. Forget about the new power for now. But sir, you mentioned parallel processing. People using to learn personal processing every day without realizing it. Your subconscious does the work. Take that man behind the wheel. The car. He wasn't born knowing how to drive. Turning the wheel, pressing the gas and brake pedals, noting his surroundings. He learned to do those things individually, and then eventually learned to do them reflexively. Yeah, I don't know. There's some people that, that just do not know how to do all of that. They either just drive and do the pedal, or they don't even like pay attention. First, you need to be able to do two things at once, without concentration. When you master that, add something else. No matter how strong a power you may have, its foundation is built on a steady accumulation of skills. There are exceptions, but the majority of heroes build their abilities brick by brick. At least, that's the only way I know how to do it. Even if you're using some of the same concepts you learned at the same school. Real world experience is completely different. Don't forget about what you picked up in class. But get used to being out here. Because this is real life. Hmm. What? Don't worry if you're up. If you're not up to it. Where the three of you fail or succeed is absolutely no reflection of on the work of number one hero. For one week, we followed the number one pro hero and steadily worked hard on each of our skills. One day, as our work studies neared the end, follow me. Yeah. What the crap? My sister invited everyone for dinner. Come on in. I'm Fuyumi, Shoto's older sister. It's nice to meet you. Endeavor and Toradoki's older brother Natsu got into a quarrel as Kachan and I got to see Toradoki's home life. Sorry, but I just can't do this. My wife and children are having fun around the table. I've been dreaming lately that you could join us, Toya. On the way home, 
Natsu was captured by the villain villain ending. Was captured by the villain ending. I'm guessing that's his name, ending. Endeavor stops stops in his tracks. <laughs> Why aren't you incinerating me? Looks like one son's life is enough to make you break your stupid rules. Store up power. Be precise. Drop Natsu. If you don't kill me quick, what happens next will be your fault. More innocents are going to end up dead. Condense. Ah. Think that lit it. Think I let that happen? Heh. I've got this. It's the same thing I do already. Use as much as I can manage. That's right. No one's dying. Not on our watch. None of your wishes are gonna come true. I like how they're saying, yeah, we're not gonna let you die. Or we're not going to let anyone else die. Like, even though that's one of his wishes, just to be taken out. It's like, it's really messed up, but it's also like... It's like, ah. Okay. I got something. A picture, some crystals, and some other stuff. 13. Man, I'm surprised on how quickly we're getting like straight to like the newest season stuff like i'm pretty sure after this chapter like what else are they gonna do like are they gonna start adapting manga content like i don't know the new season is still a few months away so uh, i don't know i feel like they're going a little too fast and getting story chapters but also, it's surprising on how short My Hero Story actually is. Even though it's been out for like, what, six years at this point? I think it's been six years. It just takes like, yearly to release a new season. Alright. Uh, no. I won't check that out yet, but... I hope you guys enjoyed My Hero Ultra Impact. If you guys did, please make sure to follow me on all my social medias like my Twitter, my Twitch, my YouTube, my DLive, my TikTok. And make sure to like and comment on everything. And even join my Discord. There you can stay up to date on everything I choose to do, whether my videos, streams, or anything else. But yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!